for one uh, was graduated in instead of being a university of Kathmandu. I think this for in population generation and uh, today is going to talk to us about adding insights into demographic and natural selection patterns of contemporary Indian population. Indian genetic line, so-called genetic line. 
and uh, they are starting in between Pakistan and India as a possible. But at the same time, they are not clustering very tightly. And this is visible also in administrative analysis. So here in, for example, Gover and that population, this light blue color which is related to the European identity component. It's more high than uh, other populations in every region. So this shows kind of they are similar as well as they are also having little uh, heterogeneity between themselves. Further going into the fine scale level genetic uh, analysis, we tried two approaches. One was the IBD and another was the chromopentor. So IBD is like long stretches of DNA segments. Uh, which are uh, identical uh, genetic sequences, and they are, com uh, they are coming from a uh, common ancestor, and it is shared between two uh, pair of populations. So, how the number of IBD segments indicate uh, more recent common ancestry between these two individuals, like uh, populations are individuals. And then in chromo painting, what we do, like we try the collection of chromosomes as a donor, and then paint the other chromosomes uh, as the piece of donors, and then based on the like genetic. Uh, Matching of essential patterns, and then we use this genetic profile uh, with uh, sorry, uh, with high sector or NLS approaches. So in IV analysis, we found kind of similar at the same time this similar uh, profile for modern studies tool, and basically if you see here, these are the people from. Uh, the new samples from the modern uh, Israeli or northwest part of India, and they are sharing more avenues each other for sure. But when we go further, uh, then we find that population Gujar is sharing more IVD with uh, uh, local Indian or South Asian population, while the rural one of the population it shares more IVD uh, with European and Central Asian population. So further, we tried to ease it out with the NLS and complementary method to find out the genetic profiling of uh, these uh, uh, individuals or populations uh, using uh, NLS method. And here in the bar flat, you can see uh, the ancestry profile, which comes from different donor groups. So uh, the color here indicates the region. So Rohr and Jat, for example, they have higher European component than any other Indian population. While Buddha, for example, has more North Indian like uh, donor uh, component. And and then if you see in the same region, Pakistan from Pakistan, it has like higher Iranian or Middle East kind of component. While other populations from Northwest part of India also vary the same different composition. So altogether it again shows <coughs> there is an existence of heterogeneity among modern and Israeli people. And uh, when we try to find out what, what could be the reason uh, behind the higher Europe related affinities of road, or profile of road, uh, we thought like maybe there is some recent connection. And for that, we tried to uh, date the admission history. Admission history can be dated with ID uh, method. And uh, with that, we found that there was uh, no recent contact because it gives the uh, 50 generation dating time. And it means 15 generation means 1500 years around. And uh, that indicates that at least there is no colonial effect or recent effect for the, uh, the sharing between the uh, road and uh, Europeans, and there should be some old contact or connection for this component. Then further, we wanted to use uh, ancient DNA uh, uh, individuals also, which were available, and uh, I would just like to correct Archie's uh, version yesterday that uh, many people are closing the modern uh, DNA labs and come to the ancient, but uh, it's not the case because I think to drag them out of the grave, modern people are needed, and that's how even genomics also is like needed for modern genomics. Genomes are uh, uh, for sure all the time will be needed, so nobody can go like this. So. But yeah, at the same time, like uh, now we have more opportunity to utilize the ancient DNA also together with whatever modern DNA we have. So here, uh, uh, already uh, Francisco and uh, Alexander also yesterday has already explained what is B statistic or we also call it F4 statistic. But I again just like to give a brief idea uh, just how to interpret it. So basically, this is four population test, and when you see uh, D value positive, it means there is gene flow from population one to population three. If D value is negative, it means there is gene flow 
coefficients of reference to and coefficients. So that is the basic trick to how to interpret the reference to these statistics. And then you'll like you'll be easy seeing <coughs> complex uh, graph. So basically here, uh, if you see row is second population, and if you see here all the population from South Asia, yeah. they are whatever D value is coming, it's negative. It means row is all the time closer to South ancient South Asian population than any other South Asian population. And it is the case with all. Only little exception sometimes comes with the in the very very people where uh, some other Gujaratis or colors people are completely little like not significant but it will have uh, having like have uh, it's illustrating with the uh, industry case, which is compared to those. Yeah. And then we try to model uh, the not only our population, but also including other model populations of in, uh, India and uh, using TP, uh, TP and TP web, and that census uh, has already explained very well. So basically, TP web, TP web is framework, first just try to find out the some kind of what sources could have been involved in the admin statistics of uh, this target population. And then it also calculates the ancestry proportions coming out of those uh, sources. So here, in this, uh, if you see, modern in the valley people, they are uh, kind of different from all other Indian populations in their component. So basically, at the time of uh, uh, my analysis or studies, there was no, uh, like, uh, this Shinde paper and certain uh, human paper came out at that time. So we use the at that time what was the best model available for the analytic is the MLA and uh, South Asian hunter gather represented by Ongi. So if you see here, so modern Indian people they have higher step component compared to any Indian and rural here are Jat population, they are having one of the highest step component. But Jat we didn't want to mention here more specifically because we just had one sample and it was not good uh, uh, confidence wise. So that's why we didn't uh, focus more on that. But yeah, so road because of other analysis and this also, so we are again found that yeah, this uh, road has highest step ancestry and uh, all the heterogeneity was also uh, like implicated in state analysis. And then again, we had this uh, still puzzling question that why this road is having more affinity with European, uh, not others. And then when we found that the step uh, component is quite high in road. We thought to just uh, correlate the step component in European with the ID sharing of European with road. And we found that first the correlation, and that indicates the step ancestry proportion as it increases in European, the number of ID uh, sharing between Europe and uh, road is increasing. So that again indicates like older connection, and probably it was related to somewhere like. Uh, from the step type. So this was one of the uh, parts. And in another part, we tried to analyze the polygon system from Nimhans. And this uh, uh, 80 polygon came from the people with family history of mental illness. Uh, and we tried to identify genes or variants under natural selection using our EBS approach. And then also we tried to find out if there is any kind of archaic interrogation and if they have any adaptive role in that. So basically, I'll just again uh, try to explain you what is PBS. So PBS is a kind of uh, alien frequency difference system between populations using three populations. And here, if you see this graph, so this is a kind of neutral locus where there is no selection. But this is a uh, uh, locus which is selected. And in this population, it is selected. So you see the branch length is quite longer. And that longer branch length also uh, indicates in higher PBS value. So if PBS value is high, uh, that means that population uh, on that locus has gone under the perception most of the So basically, after calculation of PBS, we took the high PBS, but that is not the only thing because uh, of uh, like we had polygon data uh, and cases also were there and controls also. Uh, so we didn't want to uh, like land up in that uh, category that uh, it is just because of caseness the LL uh, frequency deviating. Uh, of the situation. So what we did, we tried to search some researchers and we found out that uh, there is a kind of recommendation if you do some analysis like this, then you could take all the time 99.9 percentile of previous values uh, and then those are the most likely candidates of selection. And 
and then we further wanted to just quickly and uh, nullify the effect of KCS. For that, we tried to remove all SNPs, which were in 99 percentage of alien frequency difference between cases and controls. So the idea is like if there is a, a like this shoot up of the alien frequency is coming just because of uh, caseness, then they should not land up in that uh, uh, like uh, the 99 percentile of frequency difference when you remove those. Then it means like if it is because of case, then there should be difference in that category, not in other categories. So because of that, we use that, and we also use the uh, this fish of the jet test to uh, see that if there is significant difference between case and control frequencies or not, and try to remove those again. And finally, one more measure we took, which was like when there are different genes, so always the genes which have higher number of SLP, so like higher gene size. Most probable candidate of birth selection. So we choose that as well. So based on that, we found 74 uh, uh, individual, uh, uh, individual genes as a candidate of birth selection. And here in this dot plot, if you see, so this is on x axis, we have average previous value, while on y axis, we have different kind of genes which were spitted out as a higher previous value. Uh, and this is gene size uh, indicating like. Either two or more than two slips or these genes. And dot size is correlating with gene size. So it increases as the gene, uh, gene size increases, dot size increases. So, so out of this, uh, when we manually created with uh, GWAS catalog and all, we found almost 20 genes were elevated uh, in the, uh, for the risk of trigeophania, Parkinson's, LMF, and cognitive ability or intelligence. And this is the list of uh, genes. I'm not reading those. And all other uh, genes, they had they had association already reported for cancer, or diabetes, or vascular disease, or immune disorders. Further, we tried to do some functional enrichment analysis and uh, pathways analysis, analysis, and we found that uh, most of the genes uh, either are related to the bilateral uh, immune related bilateral process. Are they are represented in human response pathways? Yeah. So what we did, we found in the earlier plot, uh, for example, if you will see, so there were like a lot of SLA genes. So we tried to remove those and again do this pathway enrichment analysis, and we found that uh, still after we remove the SLA genes, there are uh, immune related pathways coming a lot. So based on this, uh, like we found that there is some connection between immune related genes and uh, in your people, but uh, that's a very different thing. But yeah, out of these 24 genes which we found, we found we tried to find out the archetypes of guesser in these, and for that we use heteroscopic method, which clusters and orders uh, haplotypes based on their genetic similarity with the reference population. So here we use uh, Neanderthal because we were looking for archetypes of guesser. So here these colors indicate uh, different populations labeled here in different colors. And the rows here are like haplotypes, while the uh, columns represent SNPs. And black colors are like Neanderthal derived SNPs, while the white ones are uh, ancestral SNPs. So we found that all uh, genes except this NAS2 gene has no archaic interpretation. So only in this gene we found archaic interpretation, like this, these places you can see. Which are uniquely shared with uh, continental populations, but not with Africans. And then we try to tease out more in detail whether these SNPs are involved or found at least whatever the SNPs we selected through previous analysis. So we found none of them were, were there. So it means there is an integration probably in an R2 gene, but there is no adaptive role of it in that. So based on this, uh, there are some take home points. Uh, in the first part, we found that there is substantial genetic heterogeneity among industry people, and probably it is persistent from ancient industry years because when we read uh, the different literatures, so ancient industry uh, population also is quite heterogeneous. And also, we found that some population distribution genetic processes for different groups of northwest part of India, and higher affinity of road uh, is probably. Reflecting a genetic continuum in place for that time. For the second part of the study, 
we found that selection process in individuals which has family of uh, family history of mental illness might diverge uh, from general population and it can provide insights into genetic architecture of mental illness such as schizophrenia and its immune related uh, consequences. So with that, I would like to thank you. Very interesting study. I need to ask you, sir, when you talk about population of jar or road, so you are also categorizing a subgroup like in particular in Haryana region, Tethal, Jind, Rotar. So they have a particular uh, preferences or type of choices in their life. In political scenario, you can see in that. So is there any mapping of SMD variation related to aggressiveness or? Domination sort of thing <laughs> can be related. Uh, no, actually, unfortunately not. But yeah, uh, basically, this was the point uh, uh, in sampling some of the people from the uh, road community, they were involved. Uh, and they wanted uh, us because they don't feel they are from the chat community. So they feel they are different. And there is kind of class of opinion that chat originated from road or road originated from chat. So, but yeah, again, uh, as somebody was in the morning, uh, I think Ranjit was. Saying that uh, always we have the choice, like what you can do with the limited number of funds. So, with the limited amount of money, we could do just this. So, this was like his idea, and we, we were also thinking to do whole genome sequencing and doing much more things, but unfortunately, because of the lack of money. Yeah. yeah, that, that uh, probably very soon will be done. Where to where? Can you say? <laughs> so migration, you can't say from where. To no, where. you can say. In fact, you know, whenever you talk about uh, ancestry, okay, mm -hmm. ancestor, mm -hmm. the present population, they do have ancestral lineage, mm -hmm. like uh, whatever ancient DNA. There are some evidences. So sir, my, my point is like, see, for example, in, in our paper we said this, and in, in other papers also they said, for example, uh, this uh, agriculture in India started because of the Iran and everything. No, and then now we know that there is no, no. no such thing. So it's like changing all the time perspective. No, no. Agriculture thing is very, very different. Yeah. And also, whereas we are talking, you know, for 70,000 before ancestry and continuity of the that is one level of understanding. Yeah. Now you have come into a subtle space. You have come up to Whenever you take any population, any uh, in terms of what was size and all that, you may not be knowing what is that size, what is that endocardium. Mm -hmm. But like the problem comes from the So we. No, yes, sir. Yeah. When you understand population structure, Indian population structure, yeah. one thing you have to remember. The famous hypothesis of Vairavati Karve. Mm -hmm. You know that? Vairavati Karve, what she said? Whatever you are due in population, it is not due to fission. Don't tell me all Let me take the example of the caste group, caste cluster. She says it is not caste group, it is caste cluster. Okay? Grand means is a cost per step. Now, within cost per step, from different geographical regions, there are different objects. Don't tell me from that cost, from this cost, wide geographical regions, they are same fissure. It is not just the parental fissure. All our models are based on this fissure. But that woman, long back, she told us it is not just the fissure. But lack of fusion. 
What she assumed was this. When the least times, 70,000 or 50,000, there are a lot of you know, migration, a lot of admission. Manu came around 500 years before, he gave a structure to the population. You know? He said, occupational based structure. Okay? Now we have, within each geography region, what she says is that endogamous group within the population is heterogeneous. Highly heterogeneous. You have, you get any one Indian population, one individual of Indian, you will get African lineages, you get Asian lineages, you get West Asian lineages, all in. So what she said is that formation of endogamous groups is very, very heterogeneous. Now you have a constant, cultural constant of nutrition, lifestyle, that gives a very good for functional service. I have one more question there. Uh, is this funding, is there any election for uh, viral equivalents or multivalent equivalents? I mean, this the genetic variation that you see in the sense? Uh, uh, you're talking about like second part? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, second part. So we, we couldn't uh, see that actually. Yeah. And, uh, and maybe you know, on a lighter note, that could be preferential for judges. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That could be, yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. And is it 99.9% that is No, basically like uh, the, the way you deal with the data, like it is just scarce data of whole exome. So you have to try to uh, like yeah. nutrify this because that is not because of the case. Then. So that's why we are we going for very strict uh, parameters. Yeah. So uh, I just wanted to know, why did you include BMAC as one of the ancestral component to actually see the admixture along with step BMAC uh, bacteria uh, like in somewhere in Afghanistan because this so you are telling why this time yeah that's all because we find that even in Afghanistan the northern Afghanistan and the southern Afghanistan they have a different uh, uh, thing, lineage so actually I am not showing you result but I had ten such models. So I had tried to use GMAT as, as well, uh, but uh, I don't know what model you are using, but uh, it was not fitting. Because the model is like KP adjust web can give you some proportions all the time. But then you need to be sure about this kind of error and such factors. Uh, otherwise, like you can land up in the uh, in the kind of thing. So that could be one reason. But uh, maybe you have some extra data. I don't have that. Right. <laughs>